Hi guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my videos. So in this video, we are going to be talking about why we're here, and the answer might surprise you. Now, this video is the ninth video out of 11. So if you haven't seen the other videos, don't worry, you can watch it by itself. It can stand alone. However, make sure you catch up with the other videos. And if you look below in the description section, you will see all the information that you need to watch all the other videos. You will also see information in the description section about the scholarship that I'm going to be having, which is a $600 scholarship for LPNs and RNs that are looking to get their RN or BSN. Guys, I know a lot of programs out there, they over promise and under deliver. This program may be the only exception. They have wonderful reviews, wonderful ratings, and they're definitely worth checking out. If nothing else, make sure you watch the video on their website, which again, link is below, and fill out the form. You have nothing to lose. Once you fill out that form, you'll automatically be entered into my scholarship giveaway. So anyways, without any further ado, let's get started and, and let's find out why we're here. <laughs> Step number nine, why are you here? So guys, when is the last time you actually thought about that? Why are we here? I know sometimes it's really difficult to think about because we just have no idea and we really have almost no way to figure it out, for sure anyways. But I think it's really important to think or to formulate your belief that you're here for a good reason and that you're here because you're loved. I have found working with a lot of elderly patients that have really made it to like really, really late ages, like you know, 90s to 100s, they really have a piece about them that they're here because of a good reason, they're here because they're loved, or they believe that they were here to make a difference and that they were here to experience peace as well. So I really like to stop every now and then and contemplate this question, why? I'll do this anywhere I am. I will literally just like almost stand still and I will feel everything around me. Like I right now I'm trying to feel like every inch of my skin. So like everything that's on my skin, the wind against my skin, and and I like to just get incredibly present. And then when I feel very present, I like to look around at the things around me and just think about like, well, this is where I am right now, but why here? You know, I could have been born anywhere. I could have been from any nationality, been any sex. Why am I right here right now? And I like to believe that we are here for a good reason and that we're here to learn good lessons. One of the most powerful lessons being patience. And then I like to give incredible gratitude for everything that I have and everything that I will have. So I like to thank the floor that's holding me up, the person that built the floor to hold me up, the person that hired the per no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> going too far. Um, I like to thank, you know, the air that we that I'm able to breathe. I like to give thanks for the, the clean water. And, and in this moment, I feel like on some level, I know why I'm here. And, and if I can share with you, I feel like the reason that I'm here and the reason that we are all here is really just to love each other, to love our patients, to love our coworkers, to love everyone we come in contact with because we're all sharing this journey and we're all scared and we're all vulnerable and we're all just trying to do the best we can. And I think out of this fear and this vulnerability becomes a way for us to view the world that can be different than other people. The way I view the world is that the world is here to support me and I'm here to do the best that I can so that I deserve the support of the world. So it all comes down to taking lessons, taking on challenges and dealing with plateaus. So these are the challenges in life. Life is almost one challenge after after another and we have to learn how to positively deal with the challenges so that when the next challenge comes we can be more positive in dealing with it so I have this fundamental belief that we're here to love one another but I also believe that life inevitably is challenging and it, I, I believe that life is hard if you will um, I, I do believe that I believe that you know everyone goes through difficult times and life in a sense is just one difficult time after another so at first it may seem like this is a very negative statement, but actually the way I view it is if I know that one challenge will just lead to another challenge, then I won't get upset when the challenge comes or when more work comes or when when things don't work out the way I planned. So accepting that life is challenging has been one of the most freeing things that I've ever done because I can honestly say to myself, you know what, I know that I have a lot of challenges and I know that a lot of challenges are not fair 
And I also know that a lot of challenges are not near as bad as what other people's challenges can be, but I know they're going to come and they're gonna come with consistency. However, if I can learn how to elegantly deal with challenges and problems, then I believe that life will give me a better quality problem or challenge. And I definitely know this to be true because I've had many, many periods where I did not do my best and I did not overcome the challenge like I should have and actually my life got a little bit worse. However, when I did overcome the challenge elegantly and I was able to kind of move on to a bigger opportunity and of course a bigger challenge. So if you can just kind of accept that and in a way be ready for the next problem or challenge, then you'll be one step ahead of the game. Another thing that I like to do is I like to think about the people that are placed in my life. I believe that one of the biggest ways we learn lessons is through interactions with other people. So I like to believe that the people that are placed around me, the coworkers, the nursing administration, the charge nurse, the hospital administration, or the facility administration are placed in my life for a reason. And they're placed there to help me grow, learn lessons, and become the person that I'm destined to become. It is up to us to look for these opportunities for growth and to not get angry if things come our way when we are supposed to grow, but to kind of learn how to be the better person in the situation. So when we make mistakes, I really feel like we will be given that same opportunity to try to to learn the lesson in the mistake. For example, I promise you that every time I make a mistake, especially at work, I, like almost a week later, I'm presented with almost that same scenario. So just to give you an example, when I was a new nurse, I was giving my afternoon medications and I had the medication cardism to give to a patient. So I checked the patient's blood pressure and the blood pressure was fine. So I went ahead and I gave the medication. About an hour later, I'm in the room, the CNA, and the CNA is taking her vital signs and the patient's started to say, you know, I feel really dizzy. And I looked at her and she was a bit diaphoretic. And the nursing assistant at that same exact time, you know, was kind of whispering in like, Caroline, look. And so I looked and her pulse was in, in the 30s. So I freaked out just like any good new nurse would. And I ran and grabbed the charge nurse and everybody. And they all ran into the room and we had a rapid response. So when we were investigating why this happened, the nurse asked me what I had just given. I said, oh, I gave Neurontin and Cardizem. And so she said, okay, so you gave Cardizem? She said, Caroline, look at what the patient's heart rate was before you gave the cardism. And the patient's heart rate was already 47. So obviously that was a huge mistake that I made. And all things said and done, I learned a very big lesson that day. I just felt really stupid, you know? How could I not look at the heart rate? I know what cardism is and the effect that it has on the heart. How did I just skip over the heart rate? I don't know. So anyways, instead of beating myself up, I said, okay, what's the lesson to learn here? And I said, the lesson's simple. Look at the heart rate in addition to the blood pressure. So I promise you the next week I was faced with a very, very similar situation. But this time I got it right. I looked at the blood pressure and the heart rate and responded accordingly. Another time that I messed up and I learned a lot Lesson was when I had a very difficult patient. You know, we're all nurses here, so let's just be really honest with you. Some people are easier to care for than others. There's always going to be people out there that are very unappreciative and maybe even a bit derogatory, but you can't let that get to you. However, we're all human, right? So I remember one time I was with a patient and they just kept saying the meanest things to me. But what basically happened was the patient went in something for pain and I had just gotten on my shift and the patient's pain medication was due at 7.30. I also had a patient that was leaving for surgery and I also had a patient that needed to be taken across the street to their doctor's office. So I actually forgot about the patient until at 8.30 they were screaming at me to bring their pain medication. So I went in there and I was giving the pain medication and that person was just saying the meanest things to me. And in response, I did not deal with it very good. Um, I'm not like a lot of other people that just start yelling, but I didn't deal with it the way I usually do. And so I ended up getting him more upset. He called administration, administration came, you know, we all finally worked it out, but it was a very 
very difficult situation. So instead of beating myself up about it, I asked myself again, what's the lesson to learn here? So I said, lesson number one, as soon as you can, give the pain medication. <laughs> lesson number two, just don't argue. Like it's just not worth it. No matter what's going on, no matter how inappropriate they're being, just be the bigger person. So of course, won't you know, the next week I had almost the same patient, but this time it was a much better experience. And I was able to not take anything personally and to just smile through it all and get through it because I had already been through that lesson. So it sounds really simple to kind of just learn the lesson and to move on, but I think a lot of us and a lot of other nurses just get stuck in this anger and that anger is not gonna do anything except hurt you. So just learn the life lesson, embrace the life lesson, move on and make sure that you're in shape to face the next challenge, which hopefully will be a better challenge or a step forward instead of a step backwards. Okay guys, for this next lesson, what I want you to do is to think of two challenging situations that you've recently been through and then to write down the life lesson that you've learned from them. Also write down how in the future when this situation arises, how you will deal with it. All right guys, I will see you in the next video. Love you.